Now here comes the formal announcement. Ladies and gentlemen, the main event of the evening for the vacant featherweight championship of Europe, 12 three-minute rounds in a match made at nine show. Introducing the current British featherweight champion, Barry McGuigan. Just listen to that reaction here to McGuigan. He's rejuvenated boxing in Belfast. His opponent from Flore, Italy, Valerio Natti. There's Natti, a man with no fewer than nine European Championship bouts behind him. At the weigh-in at 11 o'clock this morning, both boxers weighed in exactly at nine stone. The judges for the contest are Roger Kreitz of Luxembourg, Raymond Bacalay of France, your referee from West Germany, Kurt Halbach, your timekeeper, Mr. Dan McAllister. So under EBU, rules the referee will score here with the two ringside judges 12 rounds for the vacant european featherweight championship the nine stone crown of europe barry mcguigan in the red shorts and as harry was saying valerio nati quite a tough opponent for him here lost only twice never been stopped and all that european championship experience behind him McGuigan never been further than eight rounds in his career. 11 stoppage wins on the trot. So the action begins. McGuigan with that big punch in either hand. He can punch with the left hook and right hook. He's a fine jabber. And many people consider him to be the outstanding prospect in the British Isles. The names of Bruno and Simpson and probably Colin Jones will be much more familiar to you. But this man, McGuigan, they say he's got it all. McGuigan on the left. This is Nati's second attempt to win this European Featherweight Championship. title vacated by Loris Stecker, another Italian, and uh, Nati here boxed him in his last contest and lost on a majority points decision. He went that close last time. As you can see, quite skillful defensively. His face is totally unmarked after 28 professional contests. Good right hand lands there from the Italian. Valerio Nati from Fiori in Italy. He's a bar owner when he's not boxing. Good right hand from McGuigan. Caught him downstairs first. And the hook to the head. McGuigan likes to bang away to the body. McGuigan, an outstanding amateur in his time. Commonwealth champion as a flyweight, as a bantamweight rather, back in 1978. Boxed in the last Olympics. Surprisingly beaten there by a Zambian. McGuigan coming towards you in the dark trance. Again, throwing more punches. Nazi coming back. Clever defensively, the Italian. But the better punches going in in this opening round, clearly from McGuigan. Another good punch, left hook to the body. Look just on the edge of legality to me, that one. Last half minute of this opening round. McGuigan had the better of it so far. seconds then of this opening round been a useful one by the Irish boy in the darker trunks 
as he lands right on the bell. So this Kings Hall crowd encouraged by that. McGuigan the aggressor there for the most part. 11 stoppage wins before tonight. He had one upset early on in his professional career uh, when he lost to Peter Eubanks, uh, one uh, of the young British boxers around. Got beaten by him on points, but reversed that decision since. Certainly brought the interest back to boxing in Northern Ireland. This hall absolutely packed tonight. He's a great favourite here. He actually comes from cloners in uh, the Republic of Ireland in County Monaghan and a lot of people think he can go all the way all the way to a world title that is but uh, Valerio Nati is the sort of opponent that will certainly contest this European Championship to the end so McQuiggan going to try and get that crisp left jab going in this round now Nasi the aggressor McGuigan remaining composed taking most of those punches on the glove glove or forearm now nice left hook from him Nasi remember never been stopped so far Second round for the vacant European Featherweight Championship, sponsored by Smirnoff. That is a good jab from McGuigan. Very fast. Oh, he caught Nazi as he came onto him there. Swift left hook over the top. Now McGuigan getting into his stride and looking the part. What a good punch that was. Crowd here sensing that they have a superb talent here. Roaring with approval every punch that he lands. But they are good shots. He's got the full repertoire going now, uppercuts. Nice thing about McGuigan is that he's useful defensively too. He can punch, but he avoids taking as much as possible. Test scheduled for 12 rounds. Now Nazi having a little comeback here. McQuiggan switches that attack so quickly from head to body. But Halbach, the referee, having a very close look there at Nazi's face. A good body punch entered. I'm not so sure that Nadia hasn't got some sort of damage. He's damaged by the right eye. That's what the referee was looking at. Nadia's got a cut on the right brow. They've wiped the blood away there. I think it might be just slightly underneath it. And they'll be attending to that. So the Italian got problems early on. Let's have a look at some of that action there now. Now that might be the punch that caused the cut. Good left hook from McGuigan. Certainly having the better of it so far. So Nati might have to go another 10 rounds now with that wound. And McGuigan likes the left hook and will be banging away at it. 
Wonderful atmosphere here. McGuigan, hot favourite to take this title, to add it to his British Championship. Won that earlier this year with a two-round stoppage, and you saw a glimpse of it earlier on, how he did that, beating Vernon Penfraz, a, a second-round stoppage. Third round. Last British fighter or fighter from the British Isles to win this European title is Pat Cowdell. Oh, you felt that. Left hook to the body. Nati not happy with it. He thought it was low. It was suspicious, certainly. He does look good, McGuigan. Well, if you haven't heard too much about McGuigan so far, I think you can see why a lot of boxing experts rate him so highly. He's quick, he can hit, he's sound defensively, and he's got to be well on top here. Certainly not writing Nazi off at this stage, mind you. He's been around so much. He's the former bantamweight champion of Europe. Now, that punch was low. And the German referee is giving him a warning for that. He acknowledges it sportingly. But the left hook to the ribcage is one of McGuigan's specialities. He's now got to watch the target area closely. Those body punches are damaging. Nati standing up to them well. Well, the cut's got no worse. And the little Italian is throwing his own leather too. But you feel that his punches lack that crispness, lack that weight that McGuigan has. Nati really moved up to featherweight from Bantam in his last two or three fights, whereas McGuigan is a natural at featherweight. Good hooks going in now. Round three. Nati coming back. McGuigan positively enjoying things, a smile on his face. End of round three. What a good round that was for him. Chris body punches going in there. And the crowd here in the King's Hall in Belfast, loving every minute of it. Must have taken the uh, first three rounds, surely. Well on top at this stage. And of course, McGuigan, ambition, ambitious beyond uh, the European title. Ranked at the moment 17th by the World Boxing Council. Let's see what's happened uh, in the other corner to that eye. It's got no worse. Corner man just applying a bit more Vaseline to it. And it stood up to the pressure of that last three minutes well. Round four for the vacant featherweight championship of Europe. Barry McGuigan in the dark shorts from Belfast. From County Monaghan, really. But does his training and fighting here in Belfast. Against Valerio Nati, former bantamweight champion of Europe. Boxed for a European title nine times. Beaten only twice both of those European Championship bouts. Once when he lost the bantamweight title and his last contest when he just failed against his fellow countryman Laurie Stecker to win this championship. That was a close one. Stecker relinquished the title. Martin now gritting his teeth to stand up to those punches. 
a courageous little man. Another warning from McGuigan, that's the second. One for hitting low, one for the head. McGuigan had to take that left hook. Nighty not the sort of fighter to cave in. Never stops coming forward, McGuigan. training solidly for seven weeks for this. That defensive work is stylish, isn't it? Appreciative crowd here. Enjoying the defensive style of McGuigan as much as the attacks. That was a good right hand. Nazi felt the weight of that. Not a good body shot there. If anything's going to rest this championship for McGuigan, it'll be those body shots, surely. Has to take the right hand again. Nazi boxing in spurts. Tends to give it a go over the last minute of each round. Try and catch the judge's eye. Two ringside judges and the referee will score. And a little flurry from the Italian right at the end. Sporting contest so far. Nazi had to really take some good body shots. Standing up at the moment, Not bothering to sit down, well, seems almost strange, could do with the respite, I would have thought. Some boxers think that uh, they lose a bit of momentum by sitting down, well, I would have thought he could have done with the rest. McGuigan is uh, taking advantage of this tool. 22 years of age, outstanding amateur. And hopeful that uh, a win here would push him into the WBC top 10, which might put him in with a chance of a world title bid. The current world champion, WBC wise, is Juan Laporte, New York based Puerto Rican, who's actually just been beaten in a non title contest and might be on the way and might be just ready for the taking. That might be looking just a little bit too far ahead for McGuigan. He's got to win this one first, at least. Five years younger than Nazi. First time the Italians boxed away from his home country in Stockholm. Atmosphere here hasn't troubled him at all. Now McGuigan switching to the style of the left jab. Shoulder went in there. No doubt about that. Crowd not happy. Referee spotted it. Well, Nazi certainly hasn't caved in. He's taken the early heavy stuff, the bombardment. A lot of fighters might have folded under that. Good right hand. The beautiful thing about watching McGuigan is that the repertoire of punches is almost complete. He looks as though he was made for the game. They had problems with him when he first turned professional, apparently. He 
couldn't stop training and often left his best work in the gym. They've cured that a bit. He paces it all a bit better, a bit more professionally these days. And he certainly looks sharp tonight. Occasionally that right goes in from Nazi. He has to take about 10 to get it there. Nazi complaining to the referee again. The eye damage hasn't troubled him. Last half minute of this round. Oh, that was a good right hand. Just when Nardi was thinking he might get a little breather to follow up, in came McGuigan with the right hook to the body. McGuigan enjoying himself, no doubt about that. You can see the look in his eye. He's looking sharp, and I think the crowd here are convinced that they're going to have the new European featherweight champion. Amongst the crowd, incidentally, is his father. And we'll talk about him in a minute after we see the action of that round and that fine right hand. Then he switched it to the body straight away. No peace for Nazi. But Patsy McGuigan, uh, Barry's father, is here. And uh, those of you interested in the pop music world might recall that back in the 60s, that particular gentleman, Barry's father, came third in the Eurovision Song Contest for Ireland. One place ahead of him was Cliff Richard. So there's talent through the family. One can sing and one can fight. Oh, that's a useful right hand. He's got it in both hands, McGuigan. There's dynamite there. Marty still coming on, still making a contest of it. Six, scheduled for 12. It's been a good while since uh, Britain produced a man capable of winning the world title at featherweight. Howard Winston, of course, was that man back in the 60s, won a version of it. Now, another warning for a low punch there. That's the second. He's going to have to watch it now, my good Matt. Now Nazi doing some useful work. Now this is his best work so far. You can see why he's never been stopped, the Italian. Very durable. conceivable that he might just not have ever been hit as hard as this in his career. Having his 29th pro contest tonight, Nazi. He's only won 12 by stoppage, indication that he's not a great puncher. He's about for the European title, sponsored by Smirnoff tonight. this now this might be the end for Nazi round six 
and he cowers away from the punch. And it's surely all over. It was the body shots that got him. Those punches went in thick and fast. The towel comes in anyway, but the referee had already decided and Barry McGuigan becomes the fifth Northern Ireland boxer to lift a European championship.